Well, I haven't in, been in board, uh, excuse me, Books A Million for a while, so we're going to take a look, see what's different from a few years ago. Uh, one thing I'm noticing here, they've got, seem to have a lot more photography magazines. This must be Black and White Month. There's a couple magazines that are just uh, featuring uh, black and white photography. We've got uh, Photoshop magazines, Photo Plus, talking about mastering RAW. That's a format that uh, saves everything uh, in the, the lens sees, and you can adjust it later. Just looking at a RAW image sometimes is disappointing, but uh, everything's there. When you save things in a JPEG, you, you're throwing away data. The RAW doesn't throw away anything. Oh, and here's some uh, Linux magazines. <coughs> used to be these all came with a, a CD or then it went to DVDs and now most of them don't have that. I don't know whether it was just too expensive or people stole them or whatever. A lot of these magazines you see too here, uh, they're from England. A lot of the photo magazines too. For a country that small, they have uh, a lot of photo magazines. Look at this expert picture. Oh, okay, here we are again. I was gonna say of the woodwork. Uh, black and white. Uh, let's see, and there's another black and white photography one. I'm gonna kinda take a quick look at that just to see what the price is. And you can do black and white with your, uh, you know, your digital camera. Some people think, well, they take color pictures. No, you can do it in black and white. But uh, black and white is a little more tricky because black and white requires content to look good. Where color can just be pretty colors and everybody says, oh, that's neat. Sometimes people can look at a black and white and say, a really good black and white photo of something and say, too bad it wasn't in color. I wonder if Adam Ansel, Adam, Ansel, Ansel Adams, sorry. I uh, ever had that said to him. Uh, look at it. We've got a, a, quite a few, uh, uh, you know, off grid survival, prepping, whatever <coughs> type magazines. Here's one alone off the grid. A lot of uh, magazines that have to do with firearms. I was kind of surprised there's so many of them up here. And uh, so obviously they, they're. Ca they're carrying what's selling, so there must be a uh, more of an interest in firearms now than I would say a few years ago. And then we've got some of the off-grid magazines. We've got uh, Survival and Thrive, uh, Survival Guide, Outdoor Magazines. Oh, Yoda. One of the success, I think, of Books of Millions is that it carries a lot of non-books. You know, they're a lot of the stuff is linked with books, you know, characters in the books, whatever. But they carry a lot of other merchandise. And uh, I think a lot of it is for younger people. And, you know, who spends money? Well, people from 18 to 35 are the people that spend money, not the people like me that are 70. And, uh, you know, it's funny. Of course, they've moved sections here from when I was in last, but the sections that I used to look at a lot have gotten smaller. I'm even having trouble finding uh, any of the computer section. I think what's happened is people have transitioned to cell phones. People now basically, they, oh, nature handbook, this looks nice. Uh, uh, you know, they want an app on their phone to do it for them. You know, an app usually does one or two things, so hopefully well. And there's not as much call for people uh, with, uh, you know, understanding the in work, in and outs of uh, computers and programming and things like that. Uh, mushroom books. Gee, we've been, this is the first week where it's starting to get warm out. So, the soil has to warm up a little bit. Edible wild mushrooms, or wild mushrooms, yeah. Wild edible mushrooms. 
but uh, then we got a lot of the other uh, there was a book I saw advertised called How to Read a Tree I don't see that here but uh, Good Mushroom, Bad Mushroom this is a tree book oh this one right here that's I've got my hand on that's local to us uh, New England at Northern New England and Canada uh, Mushrooms Guide this is edible and medicinal plants. I've got this book right here in, oops, I set the camera down for a minute. Uh, in a Ken, uh, well, I'm not sure if it's Kindle or Nook version. And the uh, thing that's strange with this is it's drawings, which nothing against drawings, but they're, they're all black and white. I think I, and I thought of this when I was looking at the book too. Uh, as a Nook or Kindle book is that th those diagrams could be color. Catch the phone. Well, we're back again. So many scammers on phones now, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm making, I'm voicing over again because some, some of the music in the store was really, really loud. And, uh, you know, I was hoping to talk as I was doing it, but that just wasn't possible with the noise of copyright music. Get some Bibles. Get your Bible today. More Bibles. Wizard of Oz book. Hmm. I wonder how this store is doing financially compared to, say, five years ago. Of course, we had Borders in here, and they, they went out of business. And uh, Books A Million went in right after them, practically. And they seem to be doing well. You know, I haven't... I reached a point where I have so many books that I don't usually go around looking for books to buy. Uh, you know, and to some extent, the internet can replace books. But there's still nothing like having a book. I was uh, thinking about getting a book about a certain subject and I was thinking to myself well do I want an elect a ebook or I want a physical book and I do want a physical book it's a ham radio book uh, it's just something about it that can't be duplicated uh, in an ebook you can write in it and stuff this is to pass the upper ham radio license class I might try that but I think I want the book to actually in a physical form, not just a uh, vector format. And I, I looked for the title in their, uh, they've got these computers and they tell you what they have and what they don't have. Uh, I looked at one book online at home and then I came here hoping they would have it. They didn't have that one. They have some other ones, but frankly, I couldn't find it. It, they used to say what section they were in, but this particular book did not say what section it was in, so uh, I couldn't find it. Here we get some of the, you know, some of the computer books and things, but that used to be a huge section one time. But, you know, people's tastes change. I think, <coughs> like I say, people have moved to phones. Uh, you know, not as much computers now. Uh, so, I don't know. You would think there'd be a book about how to uh, make apps. And that's something I haven't seen, but there must be books. They're saying now, at least, you know, I've been fooling with this artificial intelligence, and they claim that they can write an app for you. Like, if you, you know enough what you want and how the apps work, the, the artificial intelligence engine or a thing like Bing or Bard or whatever could uh, actually code it for you. So you tell it what you want and it would spit it back. I'm sure you have to go through a number of re revisions before you would get it right, but. Oh goodness, more and more. Kids books, young people books. They had a lot of cookbooks. They, they, they must be, 
they had a lot of space to, develop, to devote it to cookbooks, so, <coughs> excuse me, they must be selling well. Cookbooks are something that, it's funny, you buy them, they're fairly expensive, but once you bought them, they're, they become worthless. You know, you can see these huge books, cookbooks, at, you know, yard sales or Goodwill or whatever, and uh, they're, they're, they lose their value extremely fast. Here we're looking at some more magazines, cooking magazine, <coughs> plant-based stuff. Uh, but I thought you'd enjoy this little walkthrough and like I say, maybe a, a look back and at how uh, what they're putting out has changed. Oh, here's a Hobby Farm magazine. <coughs> Oyster mushrooms on the front. They're like the easiest mushroom to grow. If you want to try growing a mushroom, you can try to grow oyster mushrooms. They're very, they're very hardy. They're very forgiving of uh, doing things wrong to them too.